Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to find the Tesla superchargers that you can use on the Rivian Nav. So that tutorial is coming up. So as you may have seen recently in the news, RJ did announce that Rivians can now use the Tesla supercharger network. So uh, the first step is to get a NACS adapter from Rivian. There are a couple of aftermarket ones you can use if you don't want to wait. Um, but the problem with that is you can use them and it's fine, but you risk voiding your warranty and you have to buy the actual adapter from this third party company. Whereas if you get it straight from Rivian, it's free, but you have to wait for probably a couple months. So I already put, put my order in and they say they'd get back to me. So I'm assuming it'll probably be this summer. We'll get the adapter and then you can actually use the Tesla supercharger network. Um, so how we do that on top of that, you can, for the Tesla supercharger network, you can only use not only, but you can use about 15,000 of them. Um, you can't use every single one, only the V3s right now, which are the 250 kilowatt stations. So if we go into the, the nav here, down here on this button, you're going to hit that. And then basically you can filter by just Tesla superchargers and then it'll tell you which ones you can use. So go to your nav, go to the lightning bolt, which is the DC fast charging. Now what you want to do is you want to go to network here at the top. And you can filter by whatever you want. So I just have it filtered by Tesla right now. And if you go to hide, you want to hide incapable. So if I hit that again, not in incompatible, sorry. And you hit that and they it takes a second for it to pop up. So I've kind of had to fiddle with it. It's a little bit weird. I don't know why it doesn't just show up quickly, but it just doesn't for some reason. So let me mess around with it and see if I can get it to come up again. So there we go. So if you hit in incompatible, then they come up as your filter to hide. And all these uh, triple lightning bolts are the DC fast charging. Um, and so these are all the Tesla supercharged you can use. So if we pick one in the area here, all you do is you just, that's it. So I'll tell you, it gives you information here. So right now this V3 is, uh, there's 10 of 28 chargers available. So another thing you probably want to take notice of is, for Rivian, we've got our charge port on the driver front, whereas Tesla's, it's in the driver rear. So basically, the way the superchargers are set up right now, the cords on the V3s aren't long enough. So you're either going to have to take up two spots, or if you can find one of the corner spots and there's extra room on that side, you can park that way and use just one stall with some extra space that's not actual, not an actual supercharging um, space. So what, what I want to show you is it's there are 10 here. But you also have to keep in mind that you need two uh, stalls next to each other or else you're not going to be able to charge because you're not going to be able to, the cord's not going to be able to reach the car. So also on here it says adapter needed, so that's what we're looking for. Obviously you're going to need your NACS adapter. So if we hit that, it tells you which stalls are open. So there's more information where, where the chargers and all that stuff open 24 hours. If you go down here to chargers available and you hit that, it'll tell you which ones are available, which is really nice. This is just like on a Tesla 2, same thing. Um, so basically what we're looking for is we want one, see how 1A, 2B, the sequencing is 1A, 1B, C, D. So the first one we would want to look at is 3A, B, and C. So these three are together. Yeah, just these three. So you could park at any one of these two. Most of the time, I'll say generally, they're lined up like this. A, B, and C, and D are all in a row next to each other, but sometimes it's alternating where it's like 1A, uh, 3A, 3C are next to each other. So you got to look at the actual stalls. They have the numbers on them. And so but generally, this is what you want to look for. At least two in, next to each other that are available so you can pull into those and use one, one of them and end up taking both stalls. Um, and that's basically all there is to it. I, you know, you can go back here and you can hit go and it'll, you know, take you to your destination. So one other thing I want to mention too is Tesla is working on fixing this. So that way you don't have to take up two stalls. There's a couple different ways. The V4s are the new 350 kilowatt stations, which there are some of them right now, but they're not actually 350 yet. They're just, they just look like it and they're still 250 until Tesla gets whatever they need to get done to actually put 350 kilowatt power into those. 
Um, but the main point is those newer versions have longer cords. So for our Rivians, it won't matter what, if you go to a V4, if they're available, you can just pull up to one stall and use that stall. You don't have to take up two stalls because the cord is longer. One other thing Tesla is also working on is they've said, and it's on their website and the FAQ for supercharging that they are working on an NACS to NACS extension cord. So that would also fix the problem for any V3. So if you just bring that with you, then you could pull, pull up to any stall you want and just use the extension cord and just use that one stall. However, that's something you're going to have to buy. So uh, I guess it just depends how bad you feel, if you care or not. Um, the rumored price is probably going to, is right now is about a hundred dollars for that extension cord. So that's straight rumor of no idea how much it's actually going to cost. Rivian, uh, Tesla hasn't said, and they haven't said when it's going to be available. They just said in the future. So those are just a couple of heads up for you, but that's how you actually, you know, look into Rivian Nav, find super, Tesla supercharger stations that you can use. And then, you know, the availability of them and, you know, just keep in mind, you got to use two of them or find that corner stall if there's one available. So hope that was helpful. Oh, actually one more thing too. Um, for Rivian, if you, they do have plug and play as well. So basically if you want to just drive up to the stall, plug your car in with the adapter, you can do that. Um, and it'll just charge your Rivian account, Rivian account on your credit card. However, if you do that, it's going, it's going to charge you full price. Um, at the superchargers. So Tesla actually also has a membership subscription based thing. It's $13, 1299. Um, if you want to do that, the, the rates are cheaper. However, you can't plug and play yet. So basically you'd have to go into the Tesla app and find whatever station, pick the stall you're at, and then tell the Tesla app, Hey, I'm at this stall, charge me the lower rate. And then you can plug in that way. So they don't have a plug and play for the subscription if you want the lower kilowatt hour usage right now. Hopefully they update that in the future, but that's another heads up for you if you're planning to use the superchargers in your Rivian. So that's the video. Hope the navigation thing was helpful so you can figure out which supercharger station you want to go to. If you have any questions, let me know below and thanks for watching.